Last week, I was up in Wisconsin to talk about a bipartisan agreement to modernize American infrastructure and, in the process, create millions of good-paying jobs. That's not my estimate. That's Wall Street estimates. That's everybody's estimate. Millions of good-paying jobs. Not $7, not $8, not $10, not even $15 an hour. Good, prevailing wage jobs. And here's what it means for Illinois. You've got, like many states, all states, you've got 230, 2,374 bridges and over 6,200 miles of highway that are in disrepair. As a result, every driver in this state pays a hidden tax about $600 per year in wasted time and wasted fuel because of the nature of the roads and bridges. And by the way, you're better than a lot of states. Not to mention the challenge of getting to work or getting a daycare center on time to avoid that late fee when you pick up your child. Your governor has an ambitious infrastructure plan. And under a bipartisan infrastructure agreement, we're going to make the biggest investment in roads and bridges since the construction of the interstate highway system literally creating millions of good-paying jobs. And God willing, we're not going to have 40, 40 weeks of uh, this is infrastructure week. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> Think what it will mean to McHenry's entrepreneurial agricultural program if you can get products more easily to Chicago. Or think about how much easier life will be when it's quicker to drive on Randall Road. <laughs> Look, this agreement also allows us to replace every lead pipe and service line in America, benefiting 10 million homes. It's going to address, it's going to address lead exposure to 400,000 of our schools and daycare facilities where children drink that water. This would be the largest investment in clean drinking water in American history when we pass it. In every uh, — one in every ten people in Illinois lacks access to high-speed Internet. The bipartisan agreement that Dick and others have made sure we're getting, the agreement allows us to connect every American to reliable, high-speed, affordable Internet, every single American, rural and urban. And by the way, those of you who are parents who had kids at home, tell me what Internet means this last year. <laughs> if they're school age. Well, from 2010 to 2020, Illinois experienced 49 extreme weather events, although I heard today from the senator north of here that the Republican senator, there is no global warming. Just so you know, there's no such thing. But those weather events cost this state roughly $50 billion in damages. And we're going to upgrade the electric grid to make it more resilient and ex to extreme weather and other threats. There's a lot more the agreement's going to do to encourage the physical and sure the physical infrastructure, lays the foundation for a strong, and durable, and sustainable competitive economy.